Hey there, and welcome to MTG Meow, Magic Enjoyed Other Ways. Meow! I'm Scott. And I'm Abby. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Clockwood custom magic set, who was made, which was made and suggested to us by Foo in the Rain. Oh. So, just as always, a reminder, if you have made a custom set of your own, or if you have a custom set that you really enjoy, be sure to let us know in the comments or on Twitter, and we'll take a look at it, maybe, and yes. add it to our list. But today... Again, we're taking a look at Clockwood, and just as a really quick intro, Clockwood, it's like a mixture of fairy tales, kind of holiday season flavorful set. It's like mm. the Nightmare Before Christmas meets the Lorwyn magic set. There's lots of multicolored yeah. and hybrid stuff as well, so it's very cool. So just as a quick intro, scrolling through some of the cards here now, but I want to go over the mechanics of the set real quick. And as you've probably seen as I've been scrolling through this, one of the big mechanics is each of the allied colors, so blue-white, Blue, black, black, red, green, red, um, yeah, green, red, and green, white, they each represent a different season, or, and blue, black represents time. So for blue, white, kind of the mechanic there is snow. So you, whoops, you can see it in cards like Snowy Owl here. Uh -huh. And so it has snowfall. So whenever a snow permanent enters the battlefield under your control, you scry one. And this, as you can see, is a snow creature. And we also have snow, Snowy Griffin, which is also a snow creature. And you can also pay a snow mana, which is mana produced by any, any permanent that is snow and makes mana. Huh. So very cool. Kind of a very flavorful winter mechanic right there. Yeah, that's so cute. I love how it's like half cat, half uh, barn owl. Yes, definitely. And as you can see with things like um, snowfall, yeah, obviously snow-covered lands are a part of that, but there's also snow permanents can trigger it. So if you just play like a snow roller, like mm -hmm. a snowman, then when he comes into play, he's another snow creature, he'll trigger snowfall as well. Uh -huh. So very cool. Very nice stuff. And you also have some things that help with that as well, such as we have... Snow Bunny, so it's kind of like a squadron hawk. When it comes into play, you can search for three other snow bunnies, but they're all snow rabbits themselves, so you can trigger Snowfall once, trigger it again when you play another one, trigger it again when you play another one. So there's lots of cool little synergies with snow there and Snowfall. So it's actually a squad bunny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Squadron, squadron bunny. And then Blue Black, which is the time faction, kind of. It's Their mechanic there is Relive, where you sacrifice a permanent, then return it to the, from the graveyard to the battlefield. So if it has a death trigger, you mm. get it. If it has a comes into play trigger, you get it. So it works really well with things like, for example, Moonchild. So when it enters the battlefield, target player discards a card. Ah. And when it dies, you draw a card. So if you relive this, then someone's discarding and you're drawing. So lots of cool little values and other enters the battlefield and dies synergies throughout the set. Mm. So that's the time mechanic for blue-black. And then for black red, kind of the fall mechanic is a very interesting returning mechanic, Gravestorm, which if you remember was only on one card in a Future Sight. So it's kind of cool that the creator here took it and tried to expand it to do more things. That so is interesting. So we see Sickle Seer does one damage to target creature or player, but with Gravestorm, it has when you cast the spell, copy it for each permanent put into a graveyard this turn. So either your stuff goes to a graveyard or your opponent's stuff goes to a graveyard. And one easy way to kind of turn this on that the creator did is with jack-o'-lantern creature tokens. So lots of things create jack-01 black and red jack-o'-lantern creature tokens that you can sacrifice to add black or red mana to your mana pool. So mm. you can sacrifice two or three jack-o'-lanterns and then you have m more gravestorm of like two or three. And also to add, just keep compiling the synergies of the set, there's lots of things that interact with the jack-o'-lanterns such as we have Mm, Gord Grenade, which is like Goblin Grenade, except you sacrifice a Jack-O-Lantern and deal five damage to a creature or player for only one mana, so very cool. So they're kind of like Eldrazi spawn tokens. In yeah, yeah. So that's the Black-Red Fall mechanic, and then we also have the Green-Red summer, summer mechanic, which is Timber. So we have Timberhorn that has Timber. It says, and Timber says whenever a land card is put into your graveyard from anywhere, Put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. So if your land gets destroyed, if you discard a land from your hand, if you get milled a land from your library, and you, this guy's getting a plus one, plus one counter. And lots of the cards that have timber interact with timber, such as Timberhorn, who has whenever it attacks or blocks, you sacrifice a land, which normally sucks, but if he's getting a plus one, plus one counter every time you do that, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah. All right. And then the last one, the, gr the green-white spring mechanic is a returning mechanic. Populate. So ah. we have Love in the Air, 
where you create a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying, then you populate. And if you remember, populate says you create a copy of a creature token you control. And there's lots and lots of tokens in this set. There's, as you can see, there's birds. And there's also a returning yes. favorite, squirrels. We have squirrel charmer that makes squirrels. We have squirrel around that makes <laughs> squirrels. So there's lots of awesome tokens to populate in this set. So those are the main mechanics of the set. And there's just so much really cool stuff going on here that I just want to show real quick. So we have like, for each season, we have a mythic scion. You have scion of fall, scion of spring, summer, time, winter. And then there's a rare uh, ley line for each of the different seasons as well, huh. which is very cool. And there's also a charm for each of the different seasons as well. It's just very nice, very flavorful, very cool. And you, there's so many great um, all, like rares and uncommons as well. Like we have the Saint O'Claus, which was oh, wow. the Santa Claus of the set. He was, I believe, according to the story, given his powers by Ugin or something. Turns everything into snow. So Whoa. very cool. Helps a lot with snowfall, if that's what you are trying to do. Sure. And there's also real cool cards like Trick or Treat. Any player may have Trick or Treat deal five damage to him or her. If no one does, you search your library for a card and put it into your hand. So you either get to trick your opponent by dealing five damage or you get a treat. So very cool, very flavorful. Love the art as well. Very nice stuff. And just one more, just another cool uncommon, the last straw. Destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn, and it has Grave Storm, so Ooh. you might trigger it many, many times. And just the really cool, flavorful cards here just really go on and on and on. I mean, I could show off any number of really cool cards in this set, and we're very excited to test it out. So. Yeah, it seems like a lot of fun. Yes, so what we'll do is, for just as usual, we'll be doing two exhibitions, and a sealed, and then a draft of the set. So our first exhibition is going to be cute little woodland creature populate yeah. deck versus their natural enemy, the Lumberjacks. Oh, this should be good. Stick around. Timber. All right, here we are for the first exhibition match of the Clockwood set. So for yes. the first match, it's going to be Lumberjacks versus cute little woodland creature population. No. So real quick, we're just going to go over the deck that I'll be playing. It's going to be green-red Lumberjacks. We have a Lumberjack Axe, which lets you sacrifice, a f sacrifice forests, which works especially well with creatures with timber. So that way we can sacrifice forests, get some mana, put plus one, plus one counters on all of our guys. A lot of Most of the creatures in our deck have timber, and they... Uh, also do things that help destroy lands. We also just have, you know, again, when we do these exhibitions, the goal really isn't to have the perfect deck with tons of rares and uncommons. We just really want to get a feel for what the commons are like mm -hmm. in the set. And a couple uncommons and the synergies and the themes, so that way when we draft and do sealed, we'll hopefully be making more informed decisions on what we do and when we build our deck. Mm. So there's a lot of really cool things here, like Lumber Hauler Yeti. Like, yeah, usually you're going to want to destroy an opponent's land, but if you have some extra lands, maybe we'll want to destroy one of our own lands and trigger all of our timber creatures. So it's kind of cool. We have Mountain Bear. Helps us get a mountain out of our deck. This is our rare. It's a six mana, five, five trample timber, and we can sacrifice a land to have them fight a creature. So it seems very powerful. Stoke Builders, a nice reprint in this set. Timberhorn, we saw that in the intro. Village Lumberjack, again, where it can add lots of mana. We have Rolling Boulders, which also triggers off of land cards going into our graveyard. Chop Wood, put four cards from our library into our graveyard. And we really just want four lands to go from our top of our library into our graveyard. That'd be awesome. Harrow, also gets lands into our graveyard. Harvest Pyre, exiles all those things that are in our graveyard for some damage. Summer Charm, just want to test it out. doesn't seem too powerful, but you never know. We want to try it. Have a Winter Wonderland for mana fixing, and Fireside Tales, just to maybe discard some lands and turn them into action and trigger our timber. So that's our deck. Abby will be playing Dream White Woodland Creatures. Let's get to the games. Yay! Yeah. All right, here we are for game one of Lumberjacks versus Cute Woodland Creatures. What's I'm, up? I'm keeping my hand here. It's pretty good. We got a two drop, another two drop, three drop, and then a five drop. We got some lands. And uh, Abby took a mulligan, but do you like your six? Oh, I'm loving it. All right, so let's see what you got. Go ahead. All right. So we can either play Village Lumberjack or Looney Logger on turn two, unless we draw something else here. We got, ooh, Timberhorn on turn three. So we'll just play a forest and pass a turn. All right. And Looney Logger says at the beginning of our upkeep, we can reveal the top card of our library. If it's a land card, put it into your graveyard. Hmm. So, I mean, that might make us draw less lands, but I don't know. Village Lumberjack, we're not going to really be sacrificing any forests because we do want to get to, like, three and five mana here, so... Oops. Ooh, Snow Bunny. 
So have you got your squadron bunny here? Are you going to search your library for up to three other snow bunnies? I sure am. I'm doing that right now. So yeah, we put four snow bunnies into Abby's deck just to see how powerful it would be if you can get multiples of them. If it's on squadron hawk level or if it's not, so. All right, there's one snow bunny, there's two snow bunnies, and three. So they should all go into your hand. Hey. All right. So is that snow all? Snow bunny city. So, I mean, Abby did technically just draw three cards, but they're all 1-1 one, one snow bunnies, so I'm not too concerned. Yeah, let's go ahead and play our loony logger, and we'll pass a turn. 2-2 two, two holds off all of her 1-1s one, pretty well. The only question is, next turn, do we play this guy or this guy? We could just play Timberhorn and start getting in. I'm very interested to see how powerful this is. I mean, it seems very good. Although, if Abby could just block it for days with all of her one... Oh, no. <laughs> it's Abby's rare. Wonder Rabbit. So, at the beginning of her upkeep, if she controls another rabbit, which she does, then she gets to create a token that's a copy of Wonder Rabbit. What? So, that's going to get out of control very quickly, and we have no removal spells in our hand. Oh, boy. So, I don't think we were going to be playing Timberhorn, because the re Abby could just keep making one ones and block it forever. Oh, whoops, I, uh, let's, I drew a forest there, so during my upkeep, I was supposed to reveal the top card of my library, which is a forest, and if it's a land card, put it into my graveyard, so I will put it into my graveyard. Okay. And since a land card was put into my graveyard, I get to add a plus one plus one counter. So that loony logger. Yes, now it's a 3-3, three, three, and we got burn willow dryad, so when it enters the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you sacrifice a land. Okay, fair enough. So basically this turn it's between Timberwood element it's between Firewood Elemental, which isn't looking too great here. Or we could play Burn Willow Dryad and we'd probably sacrifice a land. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna do here is we're just going to play Firewood Elemental, so that way next turn we can set up to play this guy and this guy, so that way all of our timber creatures will trigger when they enter the battlefield. And we're going to go ahead and attack with our 3-3 three, three Looney Logger. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, down to 17. Yeah. And go ahead. All right, so untap. And during my upkeep, I'm going to make a bunny. All right. All right, so during Abby's upkeep, bum bum bum, it's another Wonder Rabbit. Summon a rabbit. So that means next turn, she's going to get, it's going to trigger twice. Oh, dear God. That's going to get out of control very fast. What? No, I don't know what you mean. All right, so for three mana, Abby has Love is in the Air. Oh, my God. So first, you create a 1-1 one, one white bird creature token with flying. Yep. And then you populate, which means to create a token of a... Uh, create a copy of a creature token you control, and I'm guessing you're going to copy Wonder Rabbit right here. All right, so yeah, we have another Wonder Rabbit. We got a bird. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> it's about to get crazy. Love is truly in the air. Yep. All right, so this is not looking good for us. We will untap, upkeep. So let's, uh, we'll just draw the card and make it easier. So it is a forest, so we will put it into our graveyard. So that triggers our timber creatures. Add a counter. So we are getting a lot of value here, but the bad news is I don't know if we can keep up with all of these bunnies. So let's see here. Um, we could play, I think we just got to play these guys and just keep getting in for damage. I just <laughs> gotta hope for the best. So we'll play our Village Lumberjack, and then we will also play our Burn Willow Dryad. So when it enters the battlefield, we sacrifice it, unless we sacrifice a land, so we will sacrifice our mountain. And all of our guys have timber, so that means we add a counter onto all of them. And yeah, let's go to attacks. We'll attack with our 5-5 five five and our 6-3. All right, so do you have any blocks here, Abby? Yeah, I'm going to block the fat one, and I guess I can use this bird. You could if you want, yeah. Are you going to block the 5-5? Uh, the five five? Yeah, yeah. All right, so those two are dead. Yep. And you take no damage? Yes. Oh, boy. All right, yep, go ahead. And then during your upkeep, you get three more Wonder Rabbits. Yes. And there they are. Oh, boy. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> this is going to... I don't know if we can win with, with what we have right here. We would have needed to kill Wonder Rabbit either on... I mean, we uh, killing it the turn it comes into play would have been ideal, but if we gotten it the second turn, we might be able to still get through with our guys. But now there just might be too many of them, so... We'll see what happens, though. We're still going to fight the good fight. we got to chop down these trees and kill these critters' homes. All right, and Abby has a... Crowned Jackalope. 
Very nice. Whenever another rabbit creature enters the battlefield under your control. Oh my god. Put a plus one plus one counter on Crown Jackalope. It bows down to no rabbit. So next turn, you're going to get six rabbits. So that's, oh jeez, this thing's going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yep. All right, so untap, upkeep. What do we get? It's a forest, so the good news is all of that keeps triggering. So we add a green counter to all of our guys. Draw. Got a mountain. That's not great. Yikes. Um, all right, let's get in. We'll attack with everyone. Oh, uh, are you kidding? Do you have any blocks? <laughs> we just got to... We don't really have any other choice here. We have nothing... I mean, we can play our Timberhorn post-combat, but we just need to... Hopefully, I mean, we're getting in for one, we're getting in for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So this is twenty-one damage. So Abby does have to do something here. All right. So you're blocking one of them with a Wonder Rabbit. You're gonna block another. Block two. Yep. All right. So then you take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Down to I'll nine. Yep. Yeah. All right. So you go down to nine. Two Wonder Rabbits die. And I guess we'll go ahead and play Timberhorn and pass the turn to you. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that was a good turn, kind of. But now during Abby's upkeep, she gets four Wonder Rabbits. Yikes. This card might be a little broken. We'll see. And Crown Jackalope gets four plus one plus one counters. Yes. So this guy is now a 6-6. Six, six, so that means uh, even though some of our big guys won't be able to get in. Oh boy. Uh, is there anything we can draw? Ideally, we'll mill another forest during our upkeep, so that way we'll get more counters on all of our guys. But I don't know what we can draw to take care of all these Wonder Rabbits, since our deck is mostly commons and just a few uncommons. I don't think we have any sweepers, so... All right, so for three mana, Abby has Wildwood Elemental. Its power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a 10-10. Casual 10-10. Ten, ten. Casual 10-10. Ten, ten. So you're going to start getting in with some of your creatures, or...? Uh, maybe... You, you could attack with your 6-6. Six, six. It's up to you. Yeah, but then what would I have ba held back to block your fatties? Oh, just a 10-10, ten, ten, you know? I don't know. Yeah, but you have more than one fatty. All so right, well, if you want to stay in defense, that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to keep it on defense for now because I'm, I am only got nine life left, so we're going to have to move it on to the All next right. turn. Fair enough. Untap, upkeep, what do we get? Oh, it's not a, ooh, but it's, it's not a land, but it is a good card. So we will, hmm. Put the dots. Yeah, we're just going to have to do that for sure. So let's go to attacks, and we will attack with everything. Do you have any blocks, Abby? Oh, of course I do. Okay. Um, let's see here. So I have a 6-6 six, six here. Hmm. Yep, so you do have a 6-6, six, six, and you have a 10-10, ten, ten, so you can you can block most of our guys. All right, so with the 10-10, ten, ten, I am going to block the fattest one here. All right, so the fattest one is, yes, that is the 7-4. We've got the mini-logger is a 6-6. Six, six. Yep, I think the loony logger is the next biggest at a 6-6. Six, six. Oh, and Timberhorn, I needed to uh, sacrifice a land because it attacked. But that puts a plus one plus one counter on all of my guys. So that's it's good and bad, good and bad. Alright, so that is a five something. Uh Timberhorn is a five five. Yeah, I'm gonna lose my jackalope. If I block what I have to block, so Alright. So who Jackalope's blocking the Timberhorn, I'm guessing? Yeah. Alright, so yeah. Oh I won't lose it, good. Nope, okay. you won't lose it. Oh god. I gotta block I gotta block more, jeez. Alright, well I gotta block here. All right, so you're blocking a loony logger. I will block here. I'm blocking a village lumberjack. And are you just going to take four, or are you going to block with another wonder rabbit and play it safe? I'll take four. All right, you'll take four? All right, well, before damage, I'm going to cast Chop Wood, which makes me on Burn Willow Dryad which I put the top four cards of my library into my graveyard. And then that creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each land card in my graveyard. So it gets plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gets plus seven, plus seven. And so I'm dead. Yeah, oh, you're dead. Oh, man, my rabbits were no match for you. <laughs> we should have blocked shoot. with another Wonder Rabbit. I should have. I wasn't expecting that, but now I know. You got greedy. I got real greedy. <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, I was not expecting to win that game, so... Whew, good, good stuff. We have to definitely watch out for that rabbit. So we have Harvest Pyre to take care of it. And we really... I mean, we have Rolling Boulders if we can get that set up. So we did get a ton of synergies, though, with our Timber. I was very happy with that. So we'll see where it goes in game two. We'll see you there. All right, here we are for game two of the Clockwood Exhibition, Lumberjacks versus Woodland Creatures. We have our opening hand here. We're on the draw this game since we won the last one. It's not that great of a hand, but, you know, we have some lands. We have some one drops, two drops, and whatever. We have the spell that won us last game, too. So, yeah, it's not as explosive, but it's whatever. And, Abby, you're keeping your seven this time? I'm totally keeping it. All right, go ahead. All right. So Abby has Winter Wonderland, which is just basically a snow version of, like, Evolving Wilds or whatever. So, kind of neat. Ooh, good, we got Harvest Pyre, so in case any nasty rope, not going to play Mountain in turn one. I'm going to play Forest, so we can play Fire Lily Dryad and pass turn. So yeah, as I was saying, we have Harvest Pyre. Your step, I'm going to top and sack this. Sure. But yeah, again, as I was saying, we have Harvest Pyre, so that way... Um, we can deal with any wonder rabbits that show up so they don't get too out of control. So Abby gets a snow-covered plains. So one thing that's kind of interesting about this set is that um, it didn't have the snow-covered basic lands in it. It did have snow-covered wastes, but it didn't have snow-covered plains or island or whatever. So I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but right now we're treating it as if there are snow-covered plains. We're just borrowing all of them from uh, Cold Snap. So with all of the five basic lands, we're pretending that they're in there. And uh, because, one, I think they should be in there if they're not, and that's a huge oversight on the, the side of the creator because I think that's such an expected thing in snow sets to have snow-covered basic lands. And two, I mean, it's just... There's a lot of uh, snow-covered land requiring activations in the set, so it just seems strange not to have them. But anyway, uh, we drew, what, a land for the turn, so yeah, we could do that, but I don't think we want to. We probably just want to play this guy, get him out there, we'll play Village Lumberjack, and we'll attack for one. Alright, let's take one. Alright, and pass turn. Yeah. So, I mean, while Abby's taking her turn, we can talk just a little bit about, like, uh, expectations of the player. So, like, not having snow-covered planes in the set would be like, you know, having Innistrad without dual-faced cards, or... Have go, having a Zendikar set without traps and um, quests and whatnot, you know, so uh, it just would seem like it doesn't belong very much. But anyway, Abby played Wildwood Elemental, not very scary right now, as a 1-1. We drew a mountain, which is fine. So we have Goblin Pathcutter, which is good. We only have one Timber Guy right now, so I guess that's fine, though. So yeah, why don't we go ahead and we'll play two mana for Goblin Pathcutter. So when he comes into play, if green was spent to cast him, which it was, we destroy target land. If we do, we may search for basic land, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle our library. So I'm going to destroy our mountain, which triggers our lumberjack. And then we get to view our library, and we get to get a land. I'll take a forest, put it here, and we get... To, we haven't played a land this turn, have we? No, we have not played a land yet, so I will play a mountain. And I don't think we want to do that, so we'll just go ahead and attack with our 3-3 Village Lumberjack. Okay, so, so you go ahead and I'll take three. Take three? Yeah. And 16? Yep. All right. All right, and pass the turn. All right, here we go. So, yeah, I mean, we don't. we only have one Timber guy, but... Timber seems pretty powerful with what we've been playing so far. It's, the set makes it very easy to get lands into your graveyard, so especially with things like this. So next turn, if we have nothing, we can just start activating this. So we'll see what happens. Abby has Tweet, Tweet, Tweet Twig Elder? Tweet, yeah. Tweet Twig Elder? Tweet Twig Elder. So when it enters the battlefield, if white was spent to cast it, you create a 1-1 one, one bird. Very nice. So we've seen kind of some of these uh, allied creature... Uh, synergies, allied color synergy creatures. Mm -hmm. So now that your Wildwood Elemental is a 3 3, so. Yes, it is. <laughs> gonna attack with it or? Yep, I'm gonna come in for some beats. Alright, so I could double block. If you wanted to. Do I want to? Yeah, I don't think I want to because this is gonna be pretty good if we have nothing else next turn. So yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and take three. One, two, three. Alright, cool. All set? Yep, I'm all set. Alright, so let's untap, draw. Ew, we're getting a little flooded over here, but whatever. So, hmm. Sacrifice the forest. I don't think that's what we want to do right here. 
Right now this would give our guy plus one, plus one, and we probably would get at least one other in there for plus two, plus two. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate Fire Lily Dryad, and I will make our mountain into a four, four until end of turn. Whoa. And I guess I'll just attack with the mountain for now. Yeah, I'll but, take that four. Okay, let's take four down to 12. Because I don't really want to attack our Lumberjack into this right here when we could, we have lots of ways of making him bigger. So, let's see here. Is there anything else we want to do this turn? I don't think so. So we'll just go ahead and pass the turn. Okay. So that wasn't a great turn for us, but next turn we'll be able to play land, activate this, and play this if we want. Hopefully getting our Lumberjack bigger. So, hopefully we'll have a better turn next turn. Although Abby does have five mana right here. So we'll see what she's able to do with that. So for three mana, you have Crown Jackalope. Yep. Mm -hmm. No rabbits yet, thankfully. Oh, they come. Oh, no. Do you have the Squadron Rabbit in hand? No, I don't. I wish I did. All right. Coming in for the beats. Coming in for the beats with Wildwood Elemental. So it's a 4-4 four, four right now. Uh, I think we can take four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Down to 13. Okay. All set? Yep. All right, so we will untap draw. We got Stoic Builder. That's kind of the opposite of what we want to be doing right now, though. So um, so we only have this in our graveyard currently, but this will probably get at least one more. So, And then we could do this in case things go horribly wrong. Yeah, I mean, we need to start doing something here. So we're going to activate the Dryad. And we will make our forest into a 4-4. Mm -hmm. And we will attack with our Lumberjack and our forest. Do you have any blocks, Abby? Um, well, let's see here. So the forest is a 4-4, four, four, right? Yep. All right, so I'm actually I'm just going to take that 7. So. Oh, you're going to take 7? Wow. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we want to do this here because I don't... Even if we'd have to get all 4 lands into the graveyard for that to work, and I don't think that's going to happen. So, well, that was a little unexpected, I will say. <laughs> mm, keeping me on my toes. Yes. Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and pass the turn back to you. Not much else we can do. All right. I mean, we can't really cast Stoic Builder since um, we don't have three mana currently. We don't really, we're not going to be able to activate this again. We can't do this ability. And, you know, we have Harvest Pyre for one. I guess it's fine if we see a Wonder Rabbit come into play, but I don't know. Maybe we should just cast this to get stuff into our graveyard, but that seems so bad when we have so many other timber creatures in our deck. All right, what's this? Acorn Shaman. Yep. All right, so when it comes into play, you create two 1-1 one, one green squirrels. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. This guy's getting huge. Oops. All right. So this means Wirewood Elemental is currently one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yikes. All right, and oh, you have something else? Flourish. So you put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature that entered the battlefield this turn. Oh, geez, that means all these guys, yikes. Nasty. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> Crap. Hmm. Oops. You getting in with your one, two, three, four, five, six, your seven, seven? Yep. You can even get in with your three, three, tweet, twig if you want. And your bird. I mean, you have so many blockers. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't been attacking with the bird. And your jackalope if you want. I mean, it's up to you. Yeah, coming in for the beats. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, now we're on the defensive. I guess we will block here, and we'll take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, jeez, this well, is sucks. bad. Wait a minute. Let me think. So what can we do next turn? Next turn we could do this and this. We could, I think we're just going to have Firefly Dryad chump block here. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do that, and then next turn we'll plan on either doing this and this, or like this and this or something. Okay, so we'll take four? Yeah, we'll take four. So one, two, three, four. So Firefly Dryad down, and these guys trade with each other? Yep. Okay. Ooh, boy. That was a good turn for you. Wow. Hey. All set? Yep, go ahead. All right, so let's just see. Is there anything? So we. this will get five cards into our graveyard for a total of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, good. So we have a plan. So we'll untap, draw. Got a mountain. Great. I guess we'll play it. Might as well. So, yeah, why don't we go ahead and we will cast Chop Wood, targeting our Village Lumberjack. So we put the top four cards into our graveyard. So he gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. 
So that means he's a 5-5 five five currently. And what else did we get in our graveyard? We got, we got a bunch of stuff. Okay. And then, while Abby's tapped out and she doesn't have any tricks or anything, we will do Harvest Pyre. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and we will exile six cards to deal six damage to Wildwood Elemental. Ooh, that hurts. So, oh, we also, did we, we got a land into our graveyard off of uh, the chop wood, so I should need to add a counter. So, Harvest Pyre's gone, so we will exile, I mean, it doesn't really matter what we exile here, I don't think, so just exile these things. Okay, so this guy still gets plus two, plus two, so he's a one, two, three, four, five, six, so he's a six, six, but I don't think we can really attack, because then Abby could just kill us on the crackback, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, we're, we have to pass, so go ahead. All right. So the good news is we neutralized that huge threat, but now we're still kind of on the back foot thanks to her giant squirrel army, and Abby has a, oh god, one of my favorite cards in the set, Overpopulate. So you populate, then you populate again. I'm guessing you'll do birds, since it's basically just a better squirrel. At this yeah, point. essentially. So two birds then? Yep. All right. Caw, yeah. caw, baby. Caw, caw. That's one sassy bird. Jeez. It is. It's got some sass in those eyes. All right, so you coming in for some damage? Yeah, All right, so I'm going to come in for some beats here. Um, yep. That's a 4-4, four, four, so... Yep, guy's a 4-4. Four, four. I guess I'll just come in with a bird. <laughs> come in with a bird and... I mean, you could come in with, like, the Acorn Shaman and the Squirrels, and I'll probably block a Squirrel, if, and then I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, that seems pretty good. Then yeah! Can, let's do yeah, it. Yeah, so... Now, so I take one, two, three, four, five, six. If I block a Squirrel, I mean, yeah, it's just... It's bad no matter what, but I'll block a Squirrel. So I take six down to three. Yes! All right, Squirrel down. Squirrel down! But I'm dead in the air to the birds, so I need, I need something good next turn. You need a rock or something. A rock? Yeah, I gotta kill three birds with one stone. Yep. Untap draw, we drew a forest, we have stoic builder. Yeah, we're dead here. Oh, God. Well, we lost that round. Correct! The forest wins! Yeah, so I think we need, we didn't just, we just didn't get enough timber synergies going that time when we didn't really get a chance to go off. We were kind of relying on, like, making our. Uh, creatures into our lands into creatures, which wasn't really great. So yeah, so we need to get ahead and get out strong if we're going to take down Abby's little woodland creatures before they overpopulate. Deep. Let's see what happens in round two. Yeah. Here we are for the third and final game of the exhibition match of lumberjacks versus woodland creatures. I'm going first since I lost that last game, and we have a decent hand here. We have some lands. We're not again. We don't have a blazing start, but we do have our rare in our opening hand, and I really want to test that out, see what it's like. We got old reliable here. We have this guy, this guy. So yeah, whatever, it's good. And Abby, you're keeping your seven this time. Oh yes. All right, so go ahead. So the question is whether if we don't have any other two drops, do we play chop wood just to hopefully get a land in our graveyard for stoic builder, so that way we get to six mana faster. So we'll see what happens. Let's see. Untap draw. We got. Another shop wood. Okay, so that basically answers our question. It's an instant, so we'll go ahead and pass the turn. So I think we will definitely just use the first chop wood to get something in our graveyard for Stoic Builder, so that way hopefully we'll hit our land drops more reliably to get to five and six mana. So on turn two here, Abby has Woodland Guardian. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. Oh god. <laughs> that, based on what I've seen so far, it's very scary. During your end step, we will chop some wood. So let's move the top four cards to our graveyard. And we got two lands in there, nice. And we also got rid of some mediocre cards. I mean, Timberhorn's nice, but the, we don't really want to sacrifice lands right now, and the Dryad is just kind of whatever. Okay, whatever. So let's untap, draw, and sure, we got another land. Let's go ahead and play our Stoic Builder, so when he comes into play, we can return a land card from our graveyard to our hand. We'll get a mountain, and pass turn. What a guy. He's, he's very burly. He looks it. So I think, he's, I think he's probably in a relationship with the girl on Chop Wood. I mean, just look at those thunder thighs. Whoa! <laughs> it's like a lightning storm whenever she goes out to chop firewood. <laughs> look out! All right. So Abby has three mana, no green. Not that she needs green to cast a lot of her things, uh, since yeah. there's so many hybrid cards in the set. But... Exactly. Not that I need it. All right, so you have... Love is in the air. Oh, love is in the air. All right, so you create a 1-1 one, one white bird, and then you populate, which is, you know, fine on its own, but with Woodland Garden out... Your birds are now two twos. Yep, in the air. In the air, yikes, that's gross. Love is in the air. Alright, you all set over there? Um, 
Yeah, I guess. Okay, so we will pass, untap, draw, and we got another land. Okay, so no more lands for the rest of the game, please. That would be nice. Still can't cast this. And, yeah, I guess, yeah, let's go ahead and attack with our 2-3. So. Yeah, I'll take two. I'll take two? Yeah, okay. whatever. And next turn we get this, and then the turn after we get this, and there's really no reason to cast that yet, so okay, go ahead and end the turn. All right. We are going to get beaten down, though. Maybe it was a mistake to attack with our 2-3. I was hoping Abby would block, and then maybe we could do some <laughs> shenanigans with this, but I thought maybe she learned her lesson and start blocking again, but apparently not. Oh no, Snow Bunny. I have one in my hand, too, so I'm going to blame both. Okay, it's not, yeah, Snowbunny's not so great when you draw them, but uh, are you going to search your library for the other two? Yes, of course. All right. Yes, I just, well, I also just wanted to show you that I had one in my hand. Fair enough. So there's your two snow bunnies. they go to your hand, you'll have five cards in hand. Hey! All right. All right. Oh, boy. Let's get in with these two twos. Yep, so not with Woodland Guardian? Uh, well, I guess so. Yeah, so take one, two, three, six, four, five, five, six. six. Yeah, take six. Yeah, it's probably a mistake to attack here, but whatever. Yeah, whatever. All right. All, All right. set? Yes. All right, so we will untap the draw. We get Summer Charm. Okay, creature control gain haste. Gets plus four plus two. Wow, that's not very helpful at all right here. But one thing that is helpful is Lumber Hauler Yeti. So we will destroy a land. We will destroy your forest. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, sorry. So... What the hell, man? If we attack with the Stoic Builder, I mean, uh, I do want to get in for some damage because if we don't, then we're just gonna we're just gonna die in the air to these birds. But call call. I don't think we have many creatures with the reach. Hey, if this gave reach, if this is creatures you control getting reach into Land of Thorn, that'd be great. But that's not what it does. So if we attack with the Stoic Builder though, and Abby attacks with everything, well, she wouldn't attack with this. But if she attacks with it, yeah, then we just take one extra from Snow Bunny. So we're gonna go ahead to go to attacks and attack with Stoic Builder. Okay, I'll take two. Okay, because so we still we need to get in for some damage, and uh, again, this is only the only thing that this guy would be keeping back is another snow bunny, which I don't think Abby's gonna attack with anyway. So, the good news is, Oops. oh, you have another four yep. Well, maybe we'll keep you off some double green cards. We'll see what happens. Oh no, four mana for another snow. Two more snow bunnies. So many bunnies. Not so threatening. I mean, if they're triggering Snowfall on something, then I think they're good. Or if they're triggering, like, bunny things on the Jackalope, then that's good. But we'll just take four in the air. Down to ten. And you pass. So untap. Upkeep. Draw. We would really love a removal spell. Ooh, Harrow's nice. But we don't have anything with Timber on it right now. So I think the play here... Well, first, let's go to attacks. I think... Are we just going to attack with both? Because if we if Abby attacks with everything next turn, that'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Well, we'll block that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Although, if we attack with everything, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Hmm. Interesting. So can we kill this turn, is the question. I think we're going to attack, so yeah, let's attack with both and see what happens. I don't think we can kill this turn, but let's see if Abby has any blocks. So it's nobody blocks. Another snow bunny blocks, you're just chump blocking both of them? Yeah. All right, so two snow bunnies down? Yep. All right, so that worked out well for us. We just got rid of some snow bunnies, and then we will go ahead and tap out for our six drop, Redwood Giant. And pass the turn. So now we finally have a timber creature, and we can just sacrifice a land whenever we want to have him fight a creature. Wow, that's actually really good. I thought we had to, could only do that once per turn. But we can sacrifice up to six lands, and then he gets a plus one, plus one counter on him each time. Wow, this guy's insane. I didn't even, I thought, again, I thought we could only do the sacrifice and fight thing once per turn. Woo, <laughs> good luck dealing with this thing, Abby. Oh my God. <laughs> Yikes. So what do you got? More birds. Tweet twig for a bird, sure, sure. All right, get another bird. Wow, I'm still just in awe about how good this is. This might be too good. <laughs> it's a couple, and again, this set is currently in uh, development, so, you know, a couple of things might need to be tweaked in there. All right, so you're attacking with the birds? Yep. All right, well, we will... You're going to sack some lands? Yeah, we will sacrifice a forest to have red, ridiculous. Redwood Giant fight your Woodland Guardian. Are you kidding? <laughs> and since he has timber, he gets a plus one, plus one counter. 
So we will take two from Rude. your birds. Rude, yes. One, two. All right. All set there? All right, let's see. Is there anything else we want to do here? So next turn, I'd like that. So we could, yeah, I think we can just win next turn. So we're going to go ahead and untap, draw. And we got Looney Logger, sure. We don't even care about that. So what we will do is we will tap all of our mana. So tap five mana. So we have one, two, whoops. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. And then we will sack... Um, yeah, we will sack a mountain to have our guy fight your Tweet Tweak Elder. And he also becomes a 6-6 six, six with three damage on him. Oh, no, 7-7 seven, seven with three damage on him. And then we'll just have him fight... We'll just sacrifice three more lands and have him fight all of your other creatures. And But he gets a plus one, plus one counter each time because of Timber, so it doesn't really matter what kind of damage he has. All right, him. so you're killing all five of my creatures? Yeah, all, the, all your untapped creatures. Your, oh. birds, your birds can stay. All right, so now we have a 10-10 and 13, 14, 15, and we still have tons of mana floating, so we're going to go ahead and chop some wood. Oh, this is getting brutal. We'll get our Redwood Giant nice and big, so we'll put the top cards into our graveyard, put the top four. How many lands do we have in our graveyard? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it becomes a 17-17. And then, yeah, so we used uh, some of our mana. And then, yeah, why not? We'll just go ahead and cast our Summer Charm as well to give him plus four, plus two. So oh it becomes a, a 21 19. Casual 21 19. And we'll attack with all of them. So wrecked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. All right. Wow. Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to concede here because that is just wild. Yeah, that was pretty insane. Yeah. That definitely needs to be limited to one per turn. I yeah, think. that card was <laughs> extremely broken, but it was extremely fun, wasn't it? That was, it was fun for me. Yeah. <laughs> it was too fun for you. But, it's fun to watch. I mean, so I got a game where my rare kind of dominated. You got the first game where your rare kind of dominated even though you lost that game so you should have won though if you i should have yeah that so, was really silly game two was a good game with a little bit of back and forth though so i really i actually really like this deck. i was kind of on the fence about like hmm timber you know that sounds kind of strange i don't really like sacrificing my lands i'm not sure if there's going to be a lot of synergies to get lands into the graveyard but with things like chop wood and other things like harrow and just all the other um timber creatures that um, enable themselves, like then when they come to play, they sacrifice a creature or whatever, or you can discard creatures. There was so much cool synergies going on. Yeah, there. that seemed like that really worked out for you. There was a lot of good synergies. And even on your side, what did you think of your deck? Oh, I loved it. I loved being able to create so many, create so many creatures, and then you had know, Wildwood Elemental that was, that was just, they can get just get so out of control so quickly, and you know, the, the squad bunnies. The squad <laughs> bunnies, yeah, squad bunnies were great. Yeah, the, yeah both so. these sets were actually a lot of fun to play against each other. I wouldn't mind just running these two back straight against each other as they are, so. Yeah, I would say this is some pretty good kitchen table magic, definitely, so. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> All right, so cool. We'll be back for the, another exhibition match next time. See you then.